Indy 1031 is KDLD Santa Monica and KDLE Newport Beach, LA, NOC. This is the Independent FM Indy 1031. Listen to Jonesy's jukebox on Indy 1031. That was the Blues Explosion, and that song was Burn It Off from an album called Damaged. Very good song. And then we had Hedwig and the Angry Inch doing Tear, Tear Me Down. Hmm. And then we had Cockney Rebel from an album uh, from a long time ago. At Earth 72, this album was out. And I finally got it on CD. And it's their first album, and that song was What Rufy Said. And then we had The Quick, who were very much like the Sparks, early Sparks, I thought that was. And that song was called Hillary, from an anthology of The Quick. I don't think anyone knows who The Quick And I have an anthology on it. Does anyone know who they are? I've never heard of them. The good stuff, though. It's cool. And, and then we had The Boys uh, doing uh, Silent Night, putting on the... Um, the English accent in that one, I think there was. Keeping with that Christmas s spirit. That poxy old time Christmas. And we're here with uh, real men of geniuses. Yeah. Yes. Do you want to introduce yourselves? Uh, my name's Dave Bickler. I'm the singer. You're, uh, you're, you're the, sing the voice yeah. that we hear. Yeah, and he's... And I'm Pete Stacker. I'm the voice that you also hear. And you, you do the Budweiser. Yeah. Do you do other ones as well? Is it just but you just tied to Budweiser? Well, I for this campaign, yeah, in these things I do, I do other things as well. Yeah, I do promos and games and stuff like that. I do lots of different voices. But uh, he and I have been working on this project for about uh, four and a half years. Yeah. 119 commercials, and uh, it's the most awarded uh, campaign in uh, radio history here in the U.S. Uh, how did that start? How did that come about? Was it an accident, or was it just? Um, Bob went well. It, it, you know, good gu <laughs> good guesses are always an accident, but it's a, a blessed accident. But we we uh, ended up uh, um, uh, with a guy named Bob Winter at uh, uh, DDB, the agency, and uh, they worked with uh, Bud Light, and they came up with uh, an idea for this. And they tried a couple of different people, Jack Palant, some others, and finally they stumbled into me and they said, "Hey, would you like to try and see what you can do with this?" I opened my mouth and read the script, and that uh, in a way I thought was all right. There's a guy named John Facendu who does NFL football. January 17th, Lambeau Field. That guy. And I combined a couple of other things, and I looked on the other side of the glass, and they were laughing. So we had eight spots, and we thought we had it made. But uh, 119 later, we're happy. It's pretty so cool. It do not look like there's any end to it either, right? Well, it's, it's, we're hoping. It seems to have legs. Yeah. It's pretty special. This first time I've ever seen it, um, commercials have actually gone for sale on the Internet. Really? Sold, yeah, we sold. Uh, oh, this this yeah. is the volume number three. Uh, three have already been on. The first volume sold out 150,000 copies. Same with the second one. And third one's at uh, BudLight.com uh, and uh, BudShop.com. And it's uh, available now for your stocking stuff here. What, what do you think people do with these? I mean, what, they put them on. They when play they, them. When they, I know, I know. But yeah. like, what, when they were the missus by the fireplace? Or? I, th I, think, uh, I'm I sure. think not. But may maybe. Uh, maybe a couple might be inspiring that way. <laughs> you know? Or, well, do you, do you or think a party. It's, yeah, yeah, it's more like uh, frat guys, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I suppose. Well, yeah, no, that, driving that, along I'm in your car, people cracking up, you know? I'm sure it would go over good at the frat, with the frat guys, yeah. In, in a moment of romance, sure. There's a couple of cuts that are applicable. <laughs> Maybe I should do one of these. <laughs> do the English version. Footlong yeah, hot dog right. inventor, I think, you have would a work really well. Speaking voice. <laughs> you do. Pie mash shops. Fish and, <laughs> fish and chips. There you are, <laughs> fish and, Mr. Fish and Chips Man. So, um, uh, that's wild. So, I don't know if this is personal or not, but do you get paid every time it's played, or do you just get a set? You know, like when you do. It's a you know with the union we get you know. It's a combination of, of things. So you, you do get yeah, if it's TV, played on the radio. In the TV, you get played every time it pays. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But yeah. Uh, on radio, it's a different block deal block. over a certain amount of time. Yeah. But we're taking care of it. There will be no tag days. That's great. We're pretty happy. Yeah. And it's fun to do. We haven't even... Uh, uh, we met each other. It's been four and a half years, but we met each other first time about eight months ago. Bud Light uh, brought us uh, both into the city at the same time, and then we ended up doing a personal appearance tour about two or three days 
uh, later. We've become really good buddies. It's been fun. Do you guys ever argue with each other? Oh, every day. Oh, so, yeah. and I'm not doing that. Pete, oh, I've had it with you, no, man. He is such a bitch. It's just you know, a pain in the butt. You know. No. But, but do you like get into it? Like no. like guys in bands? No. No. No, we have a lot of fun. No, he's got the band experience <laughs> anyway with Survivor. So, Oh, you was in Survivor? Yeah. yeah. Wow. So you sung... Uh, I had the Tiger. You sung I had the Tiger? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love that fun. song. Yeah. Oh, thanks. I yeah. Thought, I, when, uh, was, there, was there another singer at some yeah, point? Yeah, I, I left the band in 1984. It was a dark-headed guy, dark right? Dark-haired guy, Jimmy Jameson. Yeah, he, he joined the band. And then he left in 1988. High on you. High on you. High on you, yeah. So See, you didn't over. think I know that, would you? He's very good. Yeah. You didn't think I know that. Encyclopedic knowledge. Yeah. Very yeah. good. Yeah, he was the one with the beret, though. Give us a yeah. verse of Eye of the Tiger. Rising up, back on the street. Did my time, took my chances. Went the distance, now I'm back on my feet. Just a man and his will to survive. Oh, keep going. <laughs> so many times it happens too fast. You trade your passion for glory. Bud Light. <laughs> Don't lose your grip on the dreams of the past. You must fight just to keep them alive. Fish and chips, fish and chips, fish and chips, fish and chips. <laughs> Bud Light, Bud Light, fish and Everybody chips. Everybody get yours in now. <laughs> I mean, they can take us to commercials as those guys. So. Okay. Yeah, you want to take us into commercials? Okay. Um, uh, do you want us to do one for you afterwards? Do you want to do us one live? We got a script. Well, we'll just do. We'll take you into the commercial spot. One minute. Right Bud Light presents Real Men of Genius. Here's Jonesy's jukebox. Indy 1031. Fish and chips. Thanks for <laughs> listening. Bud Light. Indy. Now that you got all the Christmas shows out of the way, you know, the not so silent night, Jingle Ball, the powerhouse Christmas show thingy, and the acoustic Christmas. Well, it's time for Indy to slide down your tree and give you something free. We've got Nirvana box sets, Pearl Jam greatest hits CD, or the Clash reissue of London Calling. Listen for your cue to call in and pick one. What happens when all the Nirvana box sets go first? Ugh. <sighs> Kid, here's how it works. When k gives away CDs, they get them for free. We have to buy them here at Indy. Good luck winning from the independent FM. Let me do it. Let me do it. No. Indy 103.1. Go do something. Indy 103.1. Hello, you listen to Jonesy's Jukebox on Indy 103.1. And um, did you guys make your phone call? Not yet. Are you back? Yeah, we're back. Oh, cool. <laughs> Enjoy cool. ourselves. You know, this um, was a campaign also in the UK. Really? Yeah, it was yeah. on TV, and um, uh, there was a big battle going on between uh, several beers that had the same name, and this was used for Budweiser. S several beers that had the same name? Yeah, you? I think it was uh, Budweiser and uh, an uh, another couple, so they played these in uh, England. I guess I, I shouldn't go too far into that, <laughs> but it was, it did. There was, uh, I guess, 10 TV spots ran. Uh, uh -huh. uh, at that time, it was called Real American Heroes. Uh -huh. So it ran there. It's going over pretty big. So is, is this something that you've copywritten? Yeah. Is I mean, it like you copyright this whole well, concept? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. It was an ad agency who came up with it. So yeah, it does definitely. Yeah. It's Budweiser's uh, Bud, uh, Bud Light's ad agency, uh, DDB here in the, uh, the United States, who came up with the original idea and the execution, and that's what we do. We do the commercials. Do you drink Bud Light? Oh yeah. Sure you do. I do. You do. Really? That's the truth. I yeah. Want one right I do. Now. No. Do you want a water instead? <laughs> you can have a water. Yeah, we can we can pretend. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we can pretend. But no, actually, yeah, I do. I really do. It's good. Mm. I learned how to pour a beer. I've learned so much in <laughs> this entire thing. And yeah, how, to, really how to actually pour a beer and go all the way down to the bottom. You take, your, you take a beer, preferably Bud Light, and you uh, pour it into the bottom of the glass till you get about three quarters up. You get a head on it. And you wait for a few minutes or 30 seconds, 40 seconds, and then you pour the rest of it up to the top because the experience is the drinking and also the smelling of all the bubbly coming That's up. right from the brewmaster. Yep. Yeah, so. Learn it from a brewmaster. I haven't had a drink in 24 <coughs> years. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's lost, uh, then that's lost. Then. I, always, I always thought American <coughs> beer was like pee. Well, let's <laughs> talk about Arrowhead water now. <laughs> Don't want to go there. <laughs> No, I did though. When coming from England, yeah, and yeah. you come here, you, you try the the beer. It's like what is well, this? It's a, it's a different it, it's a different taste style altogether. And this is very very smooth, light, and has a real clean finish. So it's you, a different. You, you're thing. just plugging the hell out of old Bud like you, aren't you? Well, that's what I should do. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. 
Um, have you ever had English beer? Then? Yeah, I've had some English beers. Yeah. Are you allowed to say that? Uh, yeah. I've had English beer. English beer. English yeah. beer. Yeah. <laughs> I've had German beer, too. I mean, it's much heavier. Yeah. yeah. I lived in Europe for about five years. It's got, no sen- <laughs> it's got no sense of humor, though, the German beer. <laughs> no. No, it doesn't. It, it really doesn't. It doesn't promote laughter. <laughs> no. <laughs> Excuse me. Promotes wars, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Light beer. Uh-huh. It promotes laughter. Happiness. Mm. Bud Light? Bud Light. Promotes what? Happiness. 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 Yes. <laughs> Drink responsibly. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Should we play a song? Yeah, sure. Let's play. What did I give you? I have no idea what. Did I give you anything? Mm-hmm. Let's play it, whatever it is. I'm sure. Oh, yeah. <coughs> this is this is for, um, hold on. Excuse me. This is for Desiree at the tea garden who gave me a load of Chinese herbs this morning. This is David Bowie, Waterloo Sunset. This is for you, darling. Take it away. And, uh, oh, what's going on? What time is it? Are we, uh, we're not giving anything away today. I feel a bit better, actually. Isn't it amazing? When you play music, how much better it can make you feel. And, uh, the up them blokes, the men of geniuses are kind of come back in a minute and do some more stuff, which was fun. They cheered me up. And, uh, right now we're going to visit the Duke, yeah? <laughs> Thanks for listening. You're listening to Jones's Jukebox on Indy 1031, KDLD Santa Monica, KDLE Newport Beach, and Intravision Communications Company. Yeah. You're listening to Jones's Jukebox on Indy 1031, and that was the Manic Street Preachers doing the Stones cover of Out of Time. Very good version. Before that, we had the band, I can never say their name even though I'm looking at it, I have to ask Mr. Shovel. What does it say, Mr. Shovel? Head Automatica. Thank you. And that song was called uh, Beating the Heart Baby. Nice poppy song. And then talking about pop, we had Roy Wood before that. And that song was called Looking Through the Eyes of a Fool. Mm. And then we had the Smiths doing uh, my uh, theme song, Shoplifters of the World Unite. And then we had Public Image with Mr. John Lydon doing... The theme song, Public Image. Fantastic record. And did we have a song before that, Queens of the Stone Age? Or that? I've already, I've already done that, haven't I? Who knows? I don't think anyone cares at this point. That was, that was an hour ago. And we've got the... Uh, what do you guys call yourself? Do you have a name? Real Men of Genius. Real Men of Genius. Oh, you do call mm-hmm. yourself that? Yeah. Okay, great. That's the best way to do it. Yeah. yeah. That's, uh, people know what that means, yeah. I guess. And, um, and uh, because... Oh, go ahead, I'm sorry. No, go on. I was going to say that um, uh, Bud Life brought us here, and, and you gave us some notes a little earlier, so we put a couple of things together. Yeah. Um, for uh, as a little gift. Christmas to gift. You. Yeah. yeah. A little g- gift Merry to Christmas. You. You know. a little Christmas gift from Bud Light. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Unfortunately, that's a piece of paper. That's about it. But, yeah. I was talking to you about the, uh, being in Survivor. Yeah. Did you enjoy that? Uh, I did it first. And then that you know later on it got to you know it got to be kind of rough. You when know. you made money, it yeah, when things started when we got the bigger we got the the, the worse it got. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I just I just wanted to clarify that that it's like that with every band. Yeah, I, that's what I, everybody I ever talked to. Yeah, says the same thing. <laughs> money is the root of all evil. Root of all evil. But you can't live without it. Mm-hmm. So you know what do you do? I haven't figured out a way yet. What do you do? Yeah. If uh, if you could rob a bank and not and not, <laughs> not, and not, not get caught, and would not you get do it? Caught and hurt anyone? Yeah. He said, if you'd rob a bank, would you, would you rob a bank if you wouldn't get caught? Or and not hurt anyone? Yeah. No, yeah. No. Would you Would you do it? Uh, Don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and I wasn't. No, I, wasn't I wouldn't. In I'd Nevada never do that. that. He wasn't no. in Nevada at that time. He wasn't no. there. He was in New York. Mm. Let's. Uh, should we? Uh, should we get busy with the fizzy? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Give you something, and maybe you can use it uh, other times if you want to. Fantastic. It all your little stuff in it. You ready? Bud Light presents a real man of genius. Real man of genius. Today we salute you, Steve Jones, Indy 1031. We salute you, Jonesy's Jude Box. He invented punk rock music. 
He's the man who can, for two hours a day, do anything he wants. He's the sire of Wilshire. The pontiff of Pop, the sheriff of Rockingham. Take it away, sunshine. So pop open an ice cold Bud Light. It's Jonesy's Jukebox. Thanks for listening to Indie 1031. Bud Light Beer, Anheuser Busch, St. Louis, Missouri. Fish and chips. <laughs> <laughs> Indie 1031. Listen to Jonesy's Jukebox on Indie 1031 with the real men of geniuses. Yeah, right now. And um, have you ever thought about doing The Eye of the Tiger with the Bud Light commercial? Um, no. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like a kind of a mashup. You know, it's, like, it's inter interesting. You know mashups? You know what mashups are? It's no, when no. people mix other songs with other songs and it put it into one. It's it's kind of popular lately. A lot of a lot of like these DJ guys do oh, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, sure. They put songs together. I'll I'll actually play you one. It's uh where is that one? Uh David Bowie and Michael Jackson both singing a song. Have you seen it anywhere? <laughs> It's it around here somewhere. It's a thin little thing. Someone stole. You've stolen it, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> the geniuses. Didn't do it. The geniuses. The pickpockets. Well, I didn't steal one. Oh, here we go. Like here we go. Buy this copy of it. Here we go. <laughs> here we go. This is it. So this is a mashup, and uh, that's what they call them. And, All right. And uh. It's track one, and this is uh, David Bowie. You know that song "Under Pressure" with oh, Queen. Oh yeah. Sure. And and it's with Michael Jackson doing. Uh, off the wall, I believe it is. Wow. So I thought you should do one. You, know, you guys do a, a commercial mashup. I'll have to start I'll a whole new thing. I'll have to ask about that. Yeah. Yeah. Eye of the tiger the with the uh, mashing into movement of genius. There it is. Bud Light. Yeah. <laughs> okay. as, as the melody go on, uh, Eye of the Tiger. Rising up, back on the Bud Light. <laughs> Real man of genius. Fish and chips. Fish and chips. Fish and chips and pie and mash. We're going to smash your face in. Yeah, something like that. It's, it's Bud Light. Perfect. Bud Light. Bud Light. Fish and chips. <laughs> Let's hear this. Take it away, me old son. You're listening to Jonesy's Jukebox on Indy 1031 and... Um, the the men of genius are going to do one more and then they're going to be on their on their way. Where, where are you way. guys off to after this? Bar. Off to a bar. <laughs> mm -hmm. And don't like don't tell me what are you going to be <laughs> drinking in that bar. Well, I don't know. I I guess I'll start with Bud Light. <laughs> then maybe I'll have some fish and chips. <laughs> <laughs> and then another Bud Light. Oh. Mm. That does sound good, doesn't it? This Bud's for you. There it is. Ah. Huh? Oh, what did we just hear? Oh, yeah. We heard Sweet doing Love is Like Oxygen. That's a load of nonsense, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and then we had the Ruts doing Staring at the Rude Boys. And then we had uh, the Go Home Productions crew doing uh, Michael Jackson and Queen and David Bowie mashup. Jacko Under Pressure, <laughs> is that one was called. Oh, that's excellent. And very good stuff, very good stuff. So and I learned well, something. Yeah. I did. Yeah, I, I love the, I love their stuff. They they have some amazing stuff. Like you know, you, if you log on there, you'll, you'll I be will. A, I will. Yeah. I wrote it down here, you know, for, you, for you guys. To see. You're streaming, so yeah. I'll be in Chicago listening. Killer, killer. Do you like it in the windy city? Uh, yeah, except uh, right about now, it'd be a lot nicer to be out here. It's freezing out there, right? Uh, yeah, yeah it gets a little cold, but it's uh, pretty 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 here. Very nice. Can you believe the weather is unbelievable? It is oh, unbelievable. Yeah. This is it. Everything's really nice out here. Why don't you People, Why don't you oh, move out here? I think there's a strong chance of that. That's yeah. going to happen. I don't know. We, the geniuses we, are going to move to LA. <laughs> that's it. That's geniuses it. in LA. Well, I, genius would only make a genius move like that. So there you go. You're going to do one more thing, and then you're going to take off. Yeah. 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 Whenever, you, whenever you're ready. I wrote this on the airplane the other day. So here we go. Bud Light presents Real Men of Genius. Real Men of Genius. Today we salute you, Mr. 100% Beer Lover Guy. Mr. 100% Beer Lover Guy. From the beginning, you knew you weren't a whiner. You chose the path of great beer, buddies, and bread. Toast, hop, and grain, man. You proudly form beer study groups for scientific case studies. Wine's a mistake. Beer is on purpose. In a glass by itself. You don't want a little head. 
You dedicated your life to getting the perfect head every time. From long neck bottles. There's a world of beer out there, and you're going to get to the bottom of it. A golden tradition. So crack open an ice cold Bud Light 100% beer lover guy. From kings and pharaohs to pilgrims, it's not just beer, it's history. You know a good beer when you taste one. Bud Light Beer, Anheuser Busch, St. Louis, Missouri. Fish and chips. <laughs> <laughs> You're listening. You are listening. I command you to listen to the box of Jones. 1031. That was a pink noise test. And that was an album plasticized. And that song was all the same to me. And then we had the Mooney Suzuki live and amplified. And that song was legal high. Very good. And then we had Primal Scream doing uh, Rocks. Very good. That that drum loop sounds like the one from uh, Sly and the Family Stone. What was that song? Dance to the Music. I'm sure that's a, 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 nick, a nick in there. And then we had, uh, did we have, was it Michael Jackson, the Queen thing then? Or was it the Ruts before that? I'm not sure now. The flu's killing me. The Ruts doing, no, we already did that. Michael Jackson. And uh, we already did that too. What am I talking about? <laughs> yeah, we just played them last three, so they are. Uh, 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 uh. What are we doing? Are we going to go to commercials? We're visiting the Duke? Sure. Them guys have gone, the bud guys. They were, they were fun. Yeah. The men of geniuses. I didn't know what that was going to be like, what that was going to turn out like, but I thought it, it was pretty amusing. Pretty, really funny, funny stuff. If you want, I could sing a response to everything you say. Really? Yeah. So if I said, like what? Like, give me for instance. No, you don't want to hear me sing. Come on, come on, come on. No, don't, 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 don't get shy now. Like what? Like I would say what? Come on. The, the, the listeners are listening. He's feeling really knackered. Okay. I'm feeling really knackered. No, you, you're supposed to Oh, that's talk. your bit. <laughs> I'm feeling really knackered. He's feeling really knackered. There you go. And I feel I'm going to have a colonic next week, too. I'm going to have a colonic... Because uh, my um, my piles are showing up. His piles are showing up. <laughs> okay, let's go and visit the Duke. He's gonna visit the Duke. Take it away, me old son. Take it away, me old son. Fish and chips. You listen to Jonesy's jukebox on Indie 1031. So uh, I will be back then, and I'm the man that can for two hours a day do what he wants. The sire of Wilshire, the pontiff of pop. <laughs> the Sheriff of Rockingham, and I will see you manana. I'm going to leave you with a bit of Tommy Bruce, Lavender Blue. Is manana, what does that mean? That means tomorrow. Oh, uh, a week for manana. <laughs> bye bye. Indy. Indy 1031 is KDLD Santa Monica and KDLE Newport Beach. The independent FM is. Indy 1031.